The following theorem is an important theorem for greatest common divisors. So the theorem says that for all choices of the integers n1, n2 and i, we have the property that the greatest common divisor of n1 and n2 is the same as the greatest common divisor of n1 minus i times n2 and n2. So we can prove this theorem as follows. So we start in the right direction. So in the right direction we have that d divides n1 and d divides n2 and from this it is clear that d will also divide n1 minus i times n2. So we can say that every common divisor of n1 and n2 is also a common divisor of n1 minus i n2 and n2. The proof in the left direction is very similar. So here we have that if we have an integer d prime that divides n1 minus i n2 and it also divides n2. This means that this integer must also divide n1 minus i n2 plus i n2, which is equal to n1. So all integers that divides both n1 minus i n2 and n2 will also divide n1 and n2. So since all these integers divide in both directions, then it means that the greatest common divisors is the same. A corollary to this theorem is called Euclid's recursion. Euclid's recursion says that for all, in, all choices of the integers n1 and n2, where n2 is not equal to zero, we have that the GCD of n1 and n2 is the same as the GCD of n2 and the remainder when n1 is divided by n2. We can show this as follows. So the proof for this is that we have already said that the GCD of n1 and n2 is the same as the GCD of n1 minus i times n2 and n2. So this we already showed in our previous theorem. And we also know since before that we can write n1 as q times n2 plus a remainder r. Now what we can do here is that we can take this expression and compare it with this expression. So this we can write as n1 minus q times n2 equals r. And now these two expressions are the same if we just choose q to be the same as i. So we can write that gcd of n1 and n2 is the same as GCD of R and N2. But since we know now that R is less than N2, what we typically do is that we write the largest integer first. So we just rewrite this as GCD of N2 and R in this case. And R here in this case is actually the same as the remainder when N1 is divided by n2. So from this we have that this is equal to gcd of n2 and the remainder when n1 is divided by n2. Euclid's algorithm is a way to derive the greatest common divisor between two numbers n1 and n2. And when we use this algorithm, we are repeatedly using Euclid's division theorem and taking advantage of the theorem that we had for Euclid's recursion. So when we are using this theorem, what we are doing is that we repeatedly write, in this case, ri minus 2 equals qi times ri minus 1 plus ri. And then when we start this 
recursion in the be beginning of this algorithm we set r minus 2 as n1 and r minus 1 as n2 and when we reach the last remainder that is non-zero it means that we now have the GCD. So what we do here is that we first write n1 equals q0 n2 plus r0 and here we are using the theorem that says that GCD of n2 and n1 equals the greatest common divisor of n2 and r0. Then we continue and here we write n2 equals q1 r0 plus r1 and here we use that the GCD of n2 and r0 equals the GCD of r0 and r1. Continuing in the next step, we here write r0 equals q2 times r1 plus r2. And here we're using that GCD of r0 and r1 equals the GCD of r1 and r2. And then we just continue until we finally reach r i minus 2 equals q i times r i minus 1 plus r i and here we are similarly using that the gcd of r i minus 2 and r i minus 1 is the same as the gcd of r i minus 1 and r i and here in the last step we will have that r i minus 1 equals q i plus 1 times r i plus and here the remainder in the end will be 0 and here we are using that the gcd of r i minus 1 and r i equals the GCD of R, I and 0 which we know since before equals R, I. So the last remainder that is non-zero is the greatest common divisor. So this is our greatest common divisor and this is our last remainder that is non-zero. So let us look at the numerical example for this. So in this example we will use n1 equals 1311 and n2 equals 391. So our goal now is to find the GCD of these two numbers 1311 and 391. And we will do this using Euclid's algorithm. So in the first step what we do is that we divide 1311 by 391 such that we can write 1311 equals 3 times 391 plus the remainder which is 138. So from this we know that the GCD of 1311 and 391 is the same as the GCD of 391 and 138. So now we continue by taking the next step. So here we can write 391 equals 2 times 138 plus 115, which is the remainder when we divide 391 by 138. And here we use that the GCD of 391 and 138 equals the GCD of 138 and 115. So we continue. So here we can write 138 equals 
1 times 115 plus the remainder which is 23. And again now we are using that the GCD of 138 and 115 equals the GCD between 115 and 23. So we continue and we write 115, we divide it by 23 and take the remainders, we can write this as 5 times 23 and this has the remainder 0. So here we know that the GCD of 115 and 23 is the same as the GCD of 23 and 0 which equals 23. So our last non-zero remainder here, which is 23 here, will be our greatest common divisor. So the greatest common divisor between 1311 and 391, we have now derived using Euclid's algorithm and we have found that it is 23.